Do you want to learn how to draw poof from the Fairly Odd Parents? She is going to be a lot of fun and super easy to doodle. You are going to need something to draw on, something to make your doodle with, something to erase any mistakes that you might make, and a marker to outline your doodle when you are done drawing. Grab all of those supplies and crayons, markers, colored pencils, or paint, and let's get started! Today we are going to draw Poof from The Fairly Odd Parents, and I haven't watched that show in quite a while, so this will be kind of a new character for me because I don't really know much about her, but we are going to start with a very large circle shape. So our paper is vertical, which means it's tall here and skinny here, and we are going to kind of skip in I think maybe just one place for an arm, but other than that, the rest of it is just gonna be a very large circle. And I suggest that you get a bowl or something that's like a perfect size for your paper and just trace it. Drawing a circle perfectly is not easy, so I that's what I would do, just that's me personally. All right, so right here, because this would be about where an arm would be, that's where I'm gonna go ahead and leave a gap and continue with my, my circle here. So I have a nice, big, round circle. And this gap over here is gonna be an arm, so we're gonna go ahead and make like a rounded U shape, kind of like a fish fin right here for her one arm. And then we'll just draw on the other arm since we just did an arms so up here. Mine's kind of going into my little, my little holes on my paper here. I'm going to make like another little fish fin shape. So we have both hands or arms there. And then down here at the bottom, we can go ahead and do that, that U shape for two legs. And this one should be a little bigger than this one. Not much, just a little bit. We'll go ahead and do a curved line in both of them to separate like shoes or socks from pants. And then on the arms here, we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna go ahead and do like a little curved line there. And up here, we're gonna do a little curved line. And then you can actually add two lines for fingers on each of them. So it's pretty easy, just two straight lines. Separate them out a little bit, make them look a little like fingers. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and curve right through the middle of this um, circle for the pants or the little outfit that Poof is wearing. So we're just gonna basically cut in half. So this would be the bottom part would be the outfit, the top part is gonna be Poof's face. And then right here we have about a, like a little X on her outfit. Okay, so we have all this space to make her face. So she, the picture that I'm using for a reference, she's kind of got a very happy, smiley face going on here. So we're gonna do two curved hill shapes here. And we're gonna try to make them a little thicker in the middle area. So I'm kind of doubling the line up just in the middle. See how it's a little bit thicker there, but it's still normal there. Sorry for my dogs. My husband is mowing the lawn and my dog gets very anxious about not being outside with him. But then he tries to attack the lawnmower if he's outside, so not happening. Okay, so lashes and lashes. And we do three and three. So even on this character, there are three and three, just like if it was a regular character or some sort of character we made up. If you wanna make it look like a girl, you add that three and three. Okay, she's gonna have an eyebrow right here. And these are up off of her head. And she's got kind of an eyebrow right here, also up off of her head. 
right above eyes. And these aren't quite even, so let me go ahead and darken that one up. And I'm gonna come up here. She's got a little curl here, kind of like, you know, babies have that one little sprig of hair. So we're gonna go ahead and do a curl here. And I'm doubling it just to kind of give it a little thicker look to the rest of my drawing. I don't want it to all be about the same thickness. I kind of wanted that little curl to be a little darker. Okay, now we got an ear over here, so we're gonna do a backward C shape. And then inside the C, we're gonna kind of make like a curl, like if we're making a six, but we're not gonna close it off. And that's just the inner part of the ear, and that's the outer shape of the ear. So now we've got an ear. Her nose is just kind of like an upside down V or a little arrow kind of point. And then her mouth is going to be a, we got a curved U shape there. Then we're gonna make a bigger curved U shape. And so we've got her mouth. And inside she has a little tongue. And I'll make sure that we get our colors right. And we have a crown right here. So let's go ahead and add two lines on a kind of diagonal. Again, not touching the head. It's just floating right above her head. And we're going to come in at an angle on both sides. And then we're going to go up with a little peak here. So we have a little crown. Just three points on the crown and done. Now she does have some wings because she is a fairy. So right out here, we're going to do kind of like a... Um, half maybe of a uh, half of an oval shape looks like a tongue sticking out of her back and then we're going to do another one right there and we have poof drawn look at poof so now what we need to do is get our crayons markers colored pencils or paint i'm using my crayola twistables here and let's add some color to our poof drawing Huh, look at how cute Poof turned out. I had so much fun drawing this. It was really simple. Just making a nice big circle and adding legs and arms. Maybe you can make your own fairly odd parent character by just starting out with that circle shape, the legs, the arms, and then make your own face, keep the wings, maybe change the crown position or even the hair curl and make your own sort of version of a fairly odd parent character. It would be pretty fun to do. So I hope that you had fun doodling with me today. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share the video. And I cannot wait to see you again next time. Have a great day. Goodbye.